Thank you, Don, for your insights and everything. Don is uh, our guide, our Western guide, and continually impressing all of us. So I thought we'd <laughs> ask him some questions. So what do, what do you do to get ready for something like a big mountain, like one of these 18,000 meter, 8,000 meter peaks? Yeah, so for something like Everest, it's usually a culmination of years of climbing and training. Very few people you know, come here as you know, part of their first, second, third expeditions. Um, for me, it was about 20 years in the making. Um, and I would say for the average client, they would usually do something like, if they're coming from the United States, we do something like Shasta or Rainier first, and then work their way up to something like the Mexican volcanoes or larger peaks in Ecuador. Aconcagua is a very common, like first, you know, 20 some odd thousand foot mountain. Uh, Denali, I think, is a very good warm-up, although considerably shorter, significantly harder physically. And then in general, just amazing physical training. I think most people who come to Everest have been working on a six or nine or 12-month program, you know, several times a week training to get ready here. And that usually involves very long hikes, carrying heavy weight. And, of course, the great equalizer is altitude, which is really no way to train for unless you've experienced it, which is why many people will choose to do several mountains as a warm-up priority is to see how their body handles that elevation. Okay. Hey, thanks.